Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. In this episode, we are bringing you update number 27. And let me tell you, we are starting to do some of the fun stuff. Now, minus the windshield wiper motor, which let me tell you, I've got some hand cramps trying to maneuver it behind the firewall and the dash. We'll show you that here in a bit. We're really pumped up because we are making some headway. All right, let's go ahead and show you. All right, first off, big thank you to David Barnes for helping us out with the trim. So we were originally gonna go take this to get powder coated, but he said, go ahead and try to polish it out. It should polish and it did. So look at this guys. We only have two pieces out of a lot of the pieces, but we wanted to show you what we did. We polished the trim, we put it on, and if you look over here, look at this part right here on the door. Now, I was missing the internal tabs, these little metallic tabs, but this is 2023, so what I did is I used some 3M double-sided adhesive tape, and it is on there. I polished them up, and they look really good, and I can't wait to get the whole entire car set up like this. This is gonna be really, really nice. I even polished the gas cap. I am going chrome polishing crazy. But let's not take away from the powder coating chrome, because if you look at it, this is the powder coating chrome. It's not as shiny, but it does a good job in case the part that you have is completely shot, and uh, it's a good alternative. But we got the trim piece on, and we're gonna be putting on the rest of the trim pieces here once we get the car out. If you guys notice, our 95 GTR is right here, and our car is against the wall because we have some weather here in uh, Colorado. So we did most of the work with the car against the wall, which was fine, but we did some really cool stuff. Now, Elise, not only is she an amazing wife, but she is starting to learn a lot. And let me tell you, I am not an easy person to learn under because I am a former U.S. Army sergeant and I am a pain in the butt. But look what she just did, guys. Yep. We went ahead and laid down some Dynamat. And if you guys aren't familiar with Dynamat, this stuff is a great insulator and soundproof material. I mean, it is literally the household name for uh, keeping that road noise and that mechanical noise out of the cabin. It's gonna give us a nicer ride. And this is, again, this is 2023, and we're gonna be adding stuff to make the driving experience and the ride experience better. So what Elise did is essentially she made a template, and then she took that template, and then she cut it out. And after she cut it out, she went out, she laid it by hand, and then she rollered it. And she just made sure that she got in between those crevices, in between those contours and humps, and that is really nicely put in. Now, while she was doing that, this is what I did, guys. Check this out. Now, this is where I might need your help. In the manual, I'm not sure if these go right here or if it goes behind this uh, little wall here, but these relays apparently go in this area. And luckily, this was one of the few things that was actually labeled for me, well, in German, but I was able to kind of put these in here. I've got two more relays, but I wanted to ask you guys if they go in the front or in the back. Either way, I'm pretty sure I'll find out um, how it's gonna how it's gonna work <laughs> because something might not fit. All right, let me show you what kicked my butt. Now check this out, right? This is like the tip of an iceberg because these are the windshield wiper arms and mechanism that's gonna operate the windshield. And I'm still working on this because we're missing the hardware. That is nothing new with our car. As you could tell, we have thousands of bolts and stuff like that, nothing labeled. But we gotta find the nuts. And I think there are special nuts that go on here. And then I gotta maneuver everything on here because this little piece right here is not wanting to go inside there. I'm gonna take my time to look at the manual, but one of the biggest things that I got done today is I got that big old piece, that big old motor wiper arm behind here. And if you guys are ever doing it, let me save you the trouble and let you know that it goes in the left side. You won't be able to see it. I don't know if we'll, we can get the camera in here, but the motor sits right on top. So the whole mechanism runs behind there. And let me tell you, it was hard to navigate it. We had to find the bolts for it. But it, there's got, where the mounting point is on the actual motor, there's a cutout for it. So meaning that it's designed for you to move it around to get it precise because it's kind of, it's not precise if that makes sense. They, le they left the cutout so you can maneuver it. And that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to work all that in there. 
So essentially, uh, um, I did reach out to a couple people about this part. Um, maybe they might hook us up with it. We'll find out. I don't mind paying for it, but again, it's one of those things where me and the community are, you know. <laughs> but anyways, um, if I'm letting you know, guys, if I find an extra car, I'm gonna buy it. The, you know, I might not be loved, but Benjamins love me. So I'm gonna, if I could find another S800, S600, we'll definitely get it, take it apart and finish this car. But at this point in time, we are getting some cool stuff done. All right, guys, so what is next? Well, putting down the Dynamat was really important. We need to do the right side when the weather gets good and we can move out the cars and we could work on the right side and do the Dynamat on there. But I just ordered from Pelican Parts this really, really awesome uh, carpet. It's the carpet that they use in the 1990s Porsches. It's the lightest carpet you could get. It's easy to move around. And what we did is we bought two big old yards of it and we're gonna be laying it down on this car and it's gonna look amazing. And it's gonna require some kind of cutouts and a little bit of measuring and stuff like that, but it's gonna transform the whole entire car. Well, I ordered it, but I also ordered the plugs for the passenger side because we're missing those. And let me tell you guys, for some reason, plugs are expensive. One rubber plug is 12 bucks on eBay. I try to look at other places, but even though they were selling them for cheaper, they were charging you an expensive shipping rate. So they were kind of getting you one way or another. So $12 a plug. So essentially we ordered six from Japan and I found them for four bucks each and I put in a coupon and I was like, yeah. So we're gonna be getting in here, those plugs in here soon. So this is how it's gonna work. It's gonna be plugs, Dynamat or Dynamat and plugs, and then we're gonna put down the carpet. And once we do that, we're gonna to wanna to be careful when working inside the car, right? Uh, at that point in time, we're gonna start looking at the seats. And let me tell you guys, when we get to that point, we're really starting to just start looking at the engine. Now, one of the things we wanna do, we're, we're in springtime right now, is we're gonna do a huge engine layout. And to be honest with you, I'm the type of person that I don't do anything when I don't feel like it. I mean, it's just who I am. So when I feel like doing that crazy, like engine layout, we're gonna get it done and it's gonna really tell us where we're at with the engine. Meanwhile, we're gonna do stuff that we can and uh, we're just excited. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, the viewership is ticking up and we always thank you for all the help, the advice. And just like David Barnes held us out, we're really excited and we really appreciate it. That, that meant a lot. All right guys, you take care and we'll talk to you soon.